Hello and welcome to the first video of K-12 Analytics Engineering. This channel is your go-to place to learn about how to connect all of your various data sources so you can produce dashboards and reports for your teachers and students. I am Marco Salcozer, an analytics engineer in the K-12 space. Now be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you are notified of new episodes as they are released. Also feel free to use the comments if there are topics you'd like to see covered in the future. This specific video is focused on EdFi. The EdFi data standard and technology suite is instrumental in collecting data from your disparate systems for many different purposes such as secure data exchange and analytics. I am going to cover three things that I wish I knew when I started working with EdFi and I hope they help you on your path. Number one, what EdFi actually is. In the beginning of my journey, I always heard people talk about EdFi as this magical thing that was going to solve all of my problems, but it took a while for me to get to the point where I could tell those around me what EdFi was. So here's my short explanation of what EdFi is. Let's start with the data standard. The EdFi data standard is the set of rules for the collection, management, and organization of educational data. The data standard consists of the EdFi unifying data model and a set of REST API bindings. It is those two things that together create the standard. The data model serves to organize educational data from a variety of data sources. This means using a common language to talk about things like students, courses, and sections. For example, saying that a student has a last surname and not a family name. Now the EdFi Alliance also publishes technology in the form of the EdFi API and ODS, and that is an implementation of the data standard. So let's start with the ODS, which stands for Operational Data Store. An ODS integrates data from multiple data sources and for EdFi comes in the form of a Microsoft SQL Server or a Postgres database. The ODS is highly normalized, storing data in such a way that reduces duplication. This is really great because an ODS is your transactional store meant to support a high number of insertions, updates, and deletions. The EdFi API is the mechanism by which data in the ODS is updated. So the big takeaway here is that the ODS stores data the way that it does for a reason. It's to serve the purpose of what an ODS is meant to do. For me, when I was able to think in terms of a database that's updated via API calls, where the schemas and API routes are standardized, well, then I was finally able to visualize what EdFi was and be able to explain it to people. All right, number two, your BI platform, so think Tableau, Microsoft Power BI, Google Data Studio, should not be connected straight to the ODS. This is going to lead to so much headache as the ODS is over 500 tables and is structured for transactional processing, not analytics. As mentioned before, the ODS is highly normalized and that is exactly what we want for an ODS, but it's not what we want for our analytics environment. On the analytics side, we want a nice dimensional model where data is denormalized and stored in dimension and fact tables. If you are a BigQuery user, you may want wide denormalized tables that leverage nested repeated fields to cut down on joins between tables. Simply put, you want your data organized for the appropriate use case. An operational data store and a BI platform necessitate different data organizational methods. So what do you do? You install EdFi's analytics middle tier on top of your ODS. The analytics middle tier is a set of database views using dimensional modeling to denormalize the ODS table structure. It comes with a core set of views and use case specific collections targeting things like chronic absenteeism, early warning, and assessment. You will want to connect your analytics middle tier views to your BI tool. All right, so number three did not really apply to me when I started working with EdFi, but it certainly applies now and you need to know. The EdFi API and ODS work on a variety of tech stacks. The API is written in .NET Core, which means it is OS agnostic. You can run it on a Windows server or you can run it via Linux containers. You can run it on-prem or in the cloud. If you're in the cloud, you can run it on a VM or via managed or serverless environments. EdFi publishes binaries every time there is a release, which makes it so easy to deploy. Future videos here will walk you through that process step by step for all cloud providers. The ODS also comes in two flavors, Microsoft SQL Server and Postgres. 
Here again, you can use on-prem installations or connect to cloud-managed database environments such as AWS, RDS, Azure SQL, or Google Cloud SQL. And that's it. Those are the three things I wish I knew at the start of my EdFi journey. Again, I'm Marco Salcozer, an analytics engineer in the K-12 space. Hit the like and subscribe buttons on your screen, and you'll be notified of new episodes as they are released. Thank you.